Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install this update that is KV5064080 on your Windows 11 computer. But the first step is to pause and restart the update. So go to Windows Update and then over here you will see pause option. Hit pause over here. This may take some time and then hit resume updates and then you can check still not working. The next step is to start or restart these services. Now for this type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now find app readiness, make a double click on app readiness, set this to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on ok. With this selected, make a right click, click on restart or start. Now find windows update services, scroll down here you can see windows update, make a double click on windows update, set this to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on ok. With this selected, click on start or restart. Now find background intelligent transfer service, make a double click, set this to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on ok. With this selected, make a right click, click on restart and now you can try to update your Windows 11 and then check. Still not working, the next step is to run sfc and dism command now for this copy this command this command is provided in the video description type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app click on run as administrator make sure that you open command prompt as an administrator click on yes to allow paste the first command hit the enter key now this process will take some time and once the scan is 100 percent complete copy the second command copy this complete command over here paste it on the same window hit the enter key and once the second scan is 100% complete, restart your computer and after the system restart, update your Windows 11. Still, still not working, you can use Microsoft Update Catalog. Now for this, open this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Now on this website, write down the name of the update that is KB5064080 and then click on search. Now over here, uh, if you have x64 based system then windows 11 version 23h2 x64 based system you can check what kind of system you have you can go to settings go to system and then you can go to about option over here uh, you will see in my case it's x64 so here you can see windows 11 version 23h2 x64 based system click on download over here and then once you click on download you will see the update over here click on this update and let the download complete now once this download is complete you can click on this file and then you can install this update manually this process will take some time and then once the once the update is installed click on it let it complete just follow the on screen instruction and then restart your computer and then check still not working uh, the next step is to fix problem using windows update you can use this option so go to windows update and then go to advanced option and then go to recovery option over here and then here you can see fix problems using windows update this will reinstall your current version of windows your apps files and settings will be preserved so click on reinstall now this process will take some time and once this is done you can check still not working the last step is to use media creation tool so copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website scroll down here you can see media creation tool click on download now and then you can run this exe file now once you run this exe file uh, you will see the screen uh, click on accept over here and then by default windows 11 will be selected click on next and then select iso file over here and then click on next and then you can save it to desktop save and then let the download complete this process will take some time and once this is done click on finish option once you click on finish you will see the screen let it close automatically and then go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file make a double click and then you will see setup file make a double click on setup file run this setup file click on yes to allow and then click on next accept and here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so make sure this is checked and then hit install after the installation this process will again take some time and after the installation you can check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install this update successfully on your windows 11 computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel